Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club where our goal is to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome and if it's not, welcome back. We're really happy you've been able to join us. Now if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. And please feel free to leave a comment just like Lacey did. I read them all and I try very hard to answer every question. Now, today, I noticed during the week I was out of baby powder. And I know in this week's <coughs> newsletter, excuse me just a moment, Lacey, sit. Be quiet. Shush. <coughs> no, I haven't got any treats for you. Okay. She'll behave now. <laughs> I noticed during the week I was out of gravy powder and in this week's newsletter I included the recipes for um, our gravy powder mixes. These are brilliant, brilliant, and they will save you a fortune. You know what's in them. You can adjust the flavours to suit yourself. And I have two, a beef style gravy, which is like a roast meat style and chicken. And the chicken one is my favourite. I love it over mashed potato. Anyway, they'll save you money too. Now, each recipe makes the equivalent of four packets of instant gravy. So it's not, um, not expensive at all. It's quite economical to make and it pretty much uses... Mm, Stuff that we usually have in our kitchens. Now, what I'm going to do is drop the camera down and I'll start mixing up. Now, I just um, keep it in these jars. These are 500 ml jars, I think, because they fit well in my cupboard up here. Screw top lid, screws down really tight. These jars can be vacuum sealed if you want to keep make it in bulk and keep it for a long time. But either way, keep it in whatever you've got. It's easy to do. Now, let's get started. And we'll start with the beef one first. So my beef jar. And I will zip you down. I'm just going to put everything straight into the jar. And then I will give it a bit of a stir with a fork and then shake it up. Easy to do. So with the beef one, we need, let me go down. Let me bring over plain flour half a cup of plain flour so where's my handy dandy tupperware apple green that's the half cup measure half a cup of plain flour and that goes into the gravy jar okay then we need three tablespoons of stock powder now, the original recipe calls for beef stock powder. I don't use beef stock powder. I use this stuff. Where is it? I buy it in bulk like this when it's on half price. It lasts me for ages because I don't use a lot of stock powders. But it's really good. So the recipe calls for three tablespoons. Where's my handy dandy tablespoon measure gone? Here it is, right here. Um, these measuring spoons are brilliant. These are, I got these off my friend Annette Sim from Simply Too Good years and years and years ago. And I love them because they slide. So that I've got the measure. So three tablespoons of one, two, three. Three tablespoons of stock powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder. Now, <clears throat> interesting thing is I don't have any garlic powder, but I have garlic granules. So let's put some into a little bit more. Put the garlic granules into the mortar. Here's the pestle, and I'll just grind it into, into a powder, or grind them down smaller. 
Now, if you've got a coffee grinder, that will do, do this, or it doesn't take long, and it doesn't really require, the hardest part's holding the, um, holding the, but it really works quite nicely for grinding into powder. There's your elbow grease in here. Okay, that will do. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Let me try and tip it into the jar. Okay, tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder. It's all right, I won't put you through that. Um, ugh. Onion, ooh, tablespoon of onion powder. Good thing I haven't swept before this morning yet. Okay, tablespoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt. Now, I think you all know I don't like salt as a rule um, for, we didn't know why, but for a particular reason. So I rarely use salt, but it does enhance the flavour of this gravy mix. So I'm just using cooking salt. Okay, plain old cooking salt for this. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. So guys, I'm not measuring out half a teaspoon. I will grind what I think is half a teaspoon roughly into the jar. Sorry about the rattles. Okay, that'll do. And then one teaspoon of ground thyme. So we are going to have to do this again. There's my thyme. I don't have ground thyme. It smells nice. One teaspoon. One teaspoon of ground thyme. So I'll give it a bit of a crunch up. Again, if you've got a coffee grinder or a spice grinder, or you can just buy ground thyme if you want to, it saves a little bit of effort. Seriously, it doesn't take long to do this. I think you've all seen me do um, the veggie powders in the coffee grinder, but little bits like this doesn't take long. Okay, into the jar. Give it all, we want all the flavour into the jar, and that's it. So, put the lid on. And shake it up to mix. Mix it up. Now, like I said, if you want to use beef stock powder, you can. I don't worry about it so much because I never have it. Um, that's it. That's it there. Now, to make this up, I've written the instructions on the jar. But to make this up, all you need to do, whoops, sorry guys, make you seasick. All you need to do is mix quarter of a cup of the powder mix with one cup of boiling water. Give it a really good whisk. Put it in the microwave for another 30 seconds and whisk it up again. Now, if it's too thick, add a bit more boiling water. But because I don't use beef stock powder, I use pan, pan drippings as um, pan drippings along with the water to give it the flavor but that's it really easy and it's an easy enough recipe to be able to double now 
chicken. Chicken gravy is so good. Who doesn't like chicken gravy? Slightly different for this one because it's a white, what we call a white gravy. So for this, let me just move this out of the way and I'll bring the ingredients over for you. But it's pretty much um, milk powder. I use skim milk powder. You can use full cream milk powder if you want to. I use skim milk powder because that's what we have. Um, plain flour. Again, chicken stock powder, which I don't use. I use the Vegeta. And then your herbs. So let's get going. We need one and a third cups. There we go, guys. One and a third cups. So there's my two thirds of a cup. I love these um, Tupperware measuring cups because they actually have two thirds as a measuring cup. So two of those is the equivalent of one and a third cups. There we go into the jar. Pop the lid back on because if I don't, I will knock it over. Three quarters of a cup of plain flour. So here we go, plain flour. And there's my three quarters of a cup. There it is. I'm pretty sure they still do these measuring cups. I've had mine since I was a teenager when I got them. Okay, they are just brilliant, I have to say. Okay, three tablespoons of stock powder. So we're going to go one, two, three. Now, there we go. Half a teaspoon of ground sage, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of ground thyme. So, half a teaspoon of thyme. Hello, Lacey Dog. She's here trying to push me out of the way. She wants to come say hello too. Where's the half a teaspoon? There's a half a teaspoon of ground sage, of oh, thyme. Sage is here. Now, this, um, this sage is homegrown. Hmm. Nice. And grown. Actually, put a bit more in. Um, half a teaspoon of black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'd like, I will measure it out for you. Normally, I would just do a pinch. Quarter teaspoon of salt is very little salt. Now, remember that if you are using stock powders, there's salt in the stock powders, so you do not need to over-salt it. That's out of my milk powder. Oops, pop that back in. Okay. Now, these are supposed to be powdered, ground, so let's get going. Okay. Turning into a powder. Can't see from my hand in the shadow. Sorry, guys. Easy. Easy as. Now, again, to make this up, I've written the instructions on the jar so that anyone can do it, but it's pretty easy. And you can make this with water or milk, but because the milk powder in it, um, I don't see the need. And I know, Lacey. There she is groaning behind me. Can you see her? I'm going the wrong way. Where are you? Say hello. Can you say hello? Oh, good girl. If I move out of the way, there you are. Beautiful. Don't lick me because I'm giving food. Pop this in to the jar. Get it on. That's it. That's 
our chicken gravy. Pop the lid on. Shake it like crazy. I know. You have a sleep down there now. Good girl. Here we go. That's your chicken gravy mix. Now to make this up, a little bit different. Melt two tablespoons of butter, margarine. Um, I do it in the microwave. You can do it on the stove. Then you add a cup of cold water, half a cup of the gravy mix, whisk it all up. And I do it in the microwave, like I said. So 30 second bursts until it's as thick as you want it to be. And that's it. How easy was that? And now my gravy powder stocks are refilled so we can have gravy with our meals. Easy peasy. Cost very little. About dollar fifty for the chicken and maybe fifty cents for the beef. The expensive part of the chicken is the milk powder. Milk powder has gone up in price recently, so it's getting quite pricey, but it's still cheaper than buying the packets or the sachets of instant gravy. There you go. These recipes were in our newsletter this week. If you didn't get the newsletter, go over to our website, click on newsletter archive. It will be there for you. It's newsletter 3422 because we're into week 34 of the year. There you go. Now I need to tip you back up so you can see me and not just look at jars of stuff. Oh, sorry guys, we get seasick. I'm sorry about that. I'm still not very good at this. You'd think I would be after all these years, wouldn't you? But I'm not. So before I go, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you made it this far, could you please leave a comment in the section below? Start it with good gravy or just good gravy would be great. Just so I know that you've watched it right to the end because it helps me with planning the videos. And if you like this video, a thumbs up would be amazing. It helps our channel to grow, but it also makes it easier for people to find it. And the easier it is for viewers to find us, the easier it is for us to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, Lacey agrees, but it can still be done, even in this crazy world of we're living in in 2022. Yeah. Have a great day, everyone, mm. and happy cheap skating. I will be back very, very soon with another video for you.